Hey guys, it's right here. I'm here to give you guys a quick unboxing overview of the PlayStation Vita TV. So some of you guys might be asking, what is a PS Vita TV? So a PS Vita TV is basically a PlayStation Vita for your television. However, this is currently only out for Japan. The release date was around the same time as the PlayStation 4 in North America. And the system itself costs $100 US. Or if you guys can see, I got the value pack which costs $150 US around there. So this is also a companion device to the PlayStation 4, like how the PS Vita itself is a companion device to the PlayStation 4. You guys, if you guys know, you guys can stream PS4 games onto your PlayStation Vita the same way as how you can stream PS Vita games, I mean PlayStation 4 games to PS Vita TV. However, you must have your ethernet cable plugged into your router and to the PlayStation Vita TV to be able to stream PlayStation 4 games onto your PS Vita TV. So a good scenario would be like one of your family members want to watch cable TV in the living room but you want to play your PS4. But say you own your PS Vita TV, you have this in your room with your own television so you can turn on your PS4 and your PS Vita TV and link them together and stream PS4 four games onto your PS Vita TV so there's no interruption so your your siblings can watch TV while you game in your room using the PS Vita TV so you don't actually have to own two PlayStation 4s just to play in a different room so let's get on to the unboxing itself this is the PlayStation Vita value pack if you guys can see value pack so it comes with a wireless DualShock 3 controller and an 8 gigabyte memory stick this is the product code, so you see VTE1000, so like how the PSP, the first generation is called PSV1000, meaning PlayStation Vita first generation. So on the side, here's the UI, if you guys can see, it's basically a PlayStation Vita home screen with, on the TV. And this is talking about PlayStation Plus, and the benefits of PlayStation Plus. Here's the back, there's parental control, I know the new update for the PlayStation Vita lets you play, lets you, your Vita play what type of rating game, so if you want to disable M rated games, your Vita can't play M rated games, or you can set up a password, so you have to enter a password to be able to play M rated games, or you can limit the time a child plays on the Vita if you wanted to, it's HDMI, it's made by Sony, more jibber jabber. Yeah, on the other side is just basically value pack PlayStation Vita TV, post bar code, VTE1000, which is product code. And yeah. Oh, and here, the PlayStation Vita is not compatible with all games right now because it, it is a really new console. You guys can go to that website, it tells you what games work with the PlayStation Vita. I believe it's around 120 games right now. This is the PlayStation Vita TV on top by Sony. So the real thing about the box is there's no tape, so I'm not sure if this is in J Japanese retailers if they would have it without tape because like you can just open it like this. Oh look, I can, I can steal a PS Vita TV. So the system itself is actually quite small, so first thing is first, here's your PS Vita TV, it's wrapped in, it's, I don't know what the hell you call this, basic packaging. So here's the PlayStation Vita itself, it's really small. so. The top has a nice matte white finish with a sh shiny PlayStation logo, as you guys can see. Uh, here's where you put in your PlayStation Vita games. Just open that, stick in the PlayStation Vita memory uh, game uh, cartridge. Here's the front. There's Sony, as you guys can see. This is a glossy finish, so I, this is probably going to be a finger uh, fingerprint magnet. And there is probably an LED to either signal power or Wi-Fi. On the bottom is say Sony PlayStation Vita TV barcode, uh, product code. Here is Sony Ent Computer Entertainment Inc. and more stuff. And onto the back, where the main thing is. So on the back is here is the power button. Here is the memory stick card. Actually, 
This is, yeah, this is probably the memory stick card. This is USB 2, so you can charge your controller from here. HDMI and Ethernet ports. And your power, your AC, and to power up your system itself. What else is in the box? Oh, that's cool. Yes, I, you're welcome for buying a PlayStation Vita. So in the box, here is your power cable. It's, it's the same one as the PS Vita. You have an old one. It comes with an HDMI cable. I think this is probably like six feet. And here is the USB plug. This is probably for your controller. The power brick itself, this is to plug, I, I always wonder why they just don't make it into one plug. So you plug this into the PS Vita connect, uh, power connector and then you have one giant plug. And this goes into the PS Vita, the ACN. Hmm. Inside here. So here is the user manual, getting started, this is probably a warranty card, and here's your memory stick, you get 8 gigs of it, plus I also forgot to mention that the PS Vita TV has 1 gig of internal storage, so unlike the first generation PlayStation Vitas where you had, it, you had to have a memory stick, you don't really have to have a memory stick for this because it has 1 gig of storage on it. Hmm. And obviously, a wireless white PS3 controller. So that is everything that comes in the box. So this is a so here's a warranty card. This is a getting started guide. Oh no, this is like uh, a massive pamphlet for like what what apps and what apps do. This is in Japanese. This is a uh, user manual. I don't get why you make giant books. You get an eight gig Sony memory card, HDMI cable. ACN plus a PS Vita plug to power it up. A USB wire for your PS3 wireless controller, which, which you get here. Little shock three and the system itself. So some information I would like to explain is one: the system is not region locked. The only thing that is kind of region locked, but it's not really, is PlayStation Network. So as you guys know, you guys can't log into PlayStation Network with, with on this device on the PlayStation Vita TV. You can only use a Japanese PlayStation Network account. Well, for now, keyword now, because this device isn't released in anywhere else in the world. So I don't think they have any software update. They're probably gonna have a software update to let you use any PSN account, but. You might just buy one in your own region, so you can only use a Japanese PSN account. But I'm pretty sure you could play uh, North American games on this device. And yeah, so it's not region locked. It plays North American games. Like if you had, well, what region lock is is like you can only play games in a specific region. So let's say you bought this in North America. You can only play North American games on it. So if you try to import a game, it won't work. But I'm pretty sure that a North American game would work on this console, even though it's Japanese, because Sony doesn't really region lock the device. Same goes for the PlayStation Vita. And yeah, so for the size, it's actually quite small. So this is my Nexus 4, which is in a case. It's a little bit thicker than a Nexus 4. But it's, it's smaller than the Nexus 4. This is actually kind of insane. I think what's inside it is the same thing as the PlayStation Vita. So 
Here's the PlayStation video. This is the Japanese one. Let's just see. And here's the PlayStation VR TV. This is around the. This is as big as the screen on the PlayStation Vita. And this is how thick it is. It's around the same thickness, which is quite funny. It's quite a small device. Like, I'll be honest. You probably would bring this to a friend's house and play PlayStation Vita games. But I don't think there's any actual multiplayer games on the PlayStation Vita that two controllers. So example of game that games that don't work in on the PlayStation Vita TV is this. This would not work because this is really dependent on touchscreen. And it's not on the list of uh, compatible games. Whereas this game works. This is not really reliant on a touchscreen, so as well. So you can call you can probably call this the Persona 4 Golden Machine, so you can play this on your on your TV at 720p. So just a quick overview, I'll uh, make this look nice before I finish off this video. So just a really quick recap before I end this video of what you get in the box. So as you guys can see, you get the PlayStation Vita TV, which is quite small. You get a DualShock 3 controller, a USB 3 to USB mini for your P DualShock 3 controller, a, a HDMI cable, the combo, power supply for the Vita TV, a gig memory card, and a bunch of papers, user manuals, warranty card, etc. That has been ready with the PlayStation Vita TV unboxing. If you guys have any comments, any questions or comments, just please, please leave it under the video. And thank you and have a great day.